Hello guys, Dan here and welcome to part 2 of my guard on uh, yeah, me showing you how to build a gaming PC for 2015. As you know, it's been my personal gaming PC and it is actually up and running now, but um, yeah, nevertheless I'm going to be showing you part 2. So we're going to be finishing off the build and also yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to install the software, that's Windows 7, and also yeah, the drivers and everything like that to get your system running uh, all nice and properly. So yeah, I'm going to um, yeah, cut to the chase and yeah, show you part 2. So first of all guys, what we're going to be doing is carrying on with um, yeah finishing off the build. So first of all, uh, look for your SATA power cables from your power supply and plug in both your hard drives and also your SSDs. If you only have one drive, it's nice and simple. Yeah, you only have to plug one cable in. I will say sometimes you'll need to bend these cables and um, yeah, chances are you, you, know, you won't damage them. Just bend them and uh, yeah, slot them into your hard drives and SSDs. Now once you've done this, the next thing to do is to power anything else that needs power, whether this be an optical drive or a fan controller. In this case, I'm plugging in my fan controller and this is powered via Molex. This can be a tricky plug to put in, and that's why kind of SADA has replaced that in recent years. Now next up, you want to grab some SADA cables from your motherboard box and plug in yeah, your hard drives and your SSDs. In this case, two hard drives and an SSD. So there we are, and I plug in the cables in there. Now, the other end of these cables are going to be going into the SATA ports to look like this on the motherboard. And uh, yeah, you just want to plug these in here. Um, most motherboards will have 3 and also 6 gigabit ports. If you have an SSD, make sure that it's plugged into a 6 gigabit port. On this board, because it's Z97, all ports are actually 6 gigabit. Now the next thing we're going to be doing in this case is plugging in some of the front panel connectors and uh, yeah, you do want to look at your manual and in this case yeah, I'm plugging in the power button, reset button and also the power LED. You could have stuff like a speaker and also you know different buttons for different various things on your case. Next up is to install the USB header which looks like that. And once you've installed that header, you want to wrap some cables around your case to make it look nice. And yeah, you want to be installing also your USB 3.0 header. This is a blue connector and uh, yeah, it's actually a very distinctive plug, so you would recognise that if you have one of them. And yeah, this all, all these cables are actually coming from your actual case itself. Now once you've installed that, the next thing to do is to push the tabs on the um, PCI Express Time 16 uh, kind of slots in the motherboard and then um, yeah, we're going to be installing the two graphic cards. So as I said, I've got two 770s and essentially, yeah, you just want to push these into the slot um, just hold them up a little bit so they don't kind of fall out and yeah, just screw these in. These cards are dual width cards and these will have two screws. Now as well as graphic cards, I am also installing a sound card um, into one of the expansion slots. So I just put in my sound card in there. This one is a single width card. And then also, yes, a second graphic card. This, this PC is pretty beast, I will admit that. Two graphic cards, yes. So yeah, just uh, screw all the screws in to secure everything in place. Typically, graphic cards will have two screws and sound cards, uh, TV recorders and all that kind of jazz will have one. So just make sure they're all tight. And um, the next thing, once you've done that, is to actually power the cards. My sound card in this case doesn't need uh, power, but stuff like graphic cards um, typically do need power. So yeah, you want to find your six and eight pin connectors and plug these in. Relatively simple, and yeah, once you've done this, you just want to route your cables and make sure it looks all nice and good. I will say, different graphic cards uh, typically do have different um, you know, um, cables that go in, but yeah, it's typically 6 or 8 pins. And once you've done this, if you do have two graphic cards, you'll need to install a SLI bridge. Looks something like this. This again does come in your motherboard box. And um, yeah, there we are, SLI bridge. You just want to plop that on your cards, and voila, so there we are. That's how it goes on. Nice and simple. Looks pretty nice as well. Now, if you remember earlier, I did actually take off um, uh, two pieces that went on the top of the case, and uh, they're actually sound uh, proofing the tail. I did take them out, so I was going to, going to be installing yeah, these two fans at the top. So, I sewed your cable through the back, and then once you've done that, you're going to be uh, just screwing in the fan, nice and simple. Uh, just four kind of screws there, and um, that's all good. As again, you'll find these screws in the box that came with your case. So, yeah, there's just the second uh, fan going in there. All nice and simple. There we are, looks pretty nice. These actually are white LED um, fans by Corsair, uh, pretty nice indeed. Now, once you've actually installed the fans, the next thing to do is, um, yeah, uh, just route all your cables. Because we have actually finished now, the PC build is finished, and you just want to route your cables in the back of your case, flatten everything down, and once you're done, um, yeah, you want to put that side panel on, and um, yeah, kind of give yourself a pad on the back. And uh, that's kind of about it, really. And uh, typically, the more hard drives and everything you install, the more graphic cards you will have more cables to route. But yeah, give it a nice job, and um, you'll be able to get that side panel on uh, nice and simple. 
Now, once you've actually uh, done that, you want to be launching into your um, computer. So, yeah, you want to turn it on. If it does turn on, you want to be selecting your disk drive or your flash drive in my case to install your operating system. Typically, you need to click F12 to get into this, or it is F2 and delete uh, to get into your kind of BIOS. So, yeah, it's rather F2 or delete to get into the BIOS. In this boot menu, it's typically F11. I will tell you that there. Now, once you've done that, um, you'll be prompted um, with installing Windows. In this case, yeah, I've gone for Windows 7. I actually do get free product keys via a Dreams Back account because I'm at university. But um, yeah, you just want to be zipping through this. It's mainly just a process of clicking next. Now, once you get to this part, you want to be clicking on the advanced installation and clicking on your SSD. In this case, it says Disk 2 Unallocated Space. These two hard drives here do have games on, you know, say some of my Steam games and Origin games, everything like that. So I'm going to keep them where they are. But yeah, you're installing your OS on the main drive, and in this case, it's going to be the SSD. So the booting is nice and fast, and you know, PC is really responsive. So I click you and then uh, just apply the heist amount. Windows will say here that will create a partition. That's all fine. Click OK. And yeah, it will create a 100 megabyte system reserve partition. I keep it on partition 2, which is a 223 gig uh, kind of partition there, and just click Next. And that will install Windows onto the SSD. Now, the time this text will vary, and chances are if you're installing from a flash stick like I am, it will be a lot faster than it will uh, installing from a DVD driver. We'll tell you that now. Now once you've done that, your PC might reset a few times, but yeah, once you've done that, you're going to be entering a username for your computer and also a password for your computer. Once you've done that, you want to enter your product key. Um, so that might take a bit there to read off the uh, you know back of the box. But yeah, once you've done that, um, yeah, select um, uh, what kind of security you want for your updates. Now once you've done that, you'll be selecting your time. So if your time is wrong, change that. It might be correct, it might not be correct. Who knows? Now once you've done that, Windows will prepare your desktop. As again, this uh, will vary depending if you've got a hard drive or an SSD in terms of speed. Now, one thing that I like to do once I've, uh, yeah, yeah, first off, kind of, you know, got into my computer is go to the computer management. So type that in there in the bottom left. Now, once you're in there, you want to double click on the storage and also the disk management tab. And you want to check that all your disks are online and, um, yeah, they're all kind of active. So in this case, it's two hard drives and an SSD. Now, also, if you go to your computer, yeah, you can kind of see here if um, yeah, everything's online and yeah, in, inside your uh, full um, your actual drive, you'll see your files. Now, if you have got a drive that isn't active, you want to right click, click a new um, kind of simple volume. And essentially, it's just a, a you know, process of, of spamming that next button. And what it'll do is change that uh, unformatted kind of raw in, into um, yeah, an actual uh, system partition like FAT32 or NTFS, which allow you to use it. And as you can see here, it's now readable and it's just popped up there as an autoplay. This uh, is actually an SSD drive that I'll be re reviewing in about a week's time. There we are. Yeah, it's a crucial M500. Pretty nice drive, actually. And that was actually a Christmas present for my dad. Now, moving on to actually installing the drivers. This is one of the um, yeah, one of the most important things when you do build your own PC. And just before that, though, I just want to change the resolution there. So just drag it all the way up to what your monitor supports. So 1080p, 1440p, whatever you guys have these days. Click apply. And then there you are. It should kind of be a little bit more normal. There we are. So, yeah. Just uh, up the resolution so you can just see a little bit more on your screen. Now, first thing, you want to um, just type in your motherboard. So, in my case, this is a Gigabyte GA-Z97X SLI board. So, you want to go to the manufacturer's website. So, in this case, it's Gigabyte. You want to go to the support and downloads page, click on drivers, and choose your operating system. Once you've done this, you want to download your audio driver, your chipset driver, uh, your LAN driver, all these kind of funky things. And then, yeah, just keep scrolling down the page and installing them all. Um, if you do have USB 3, make sure you do also download the USB 3 driver. Now, once you've installed these, um, downloaded these, sorry, you want to put them in a nice folder. Yeah, you want to install these one by one. And yeah, you just want to look for the setup.exe or, or the installation.exe, something like that. And yeah, just install these pieces of software. And you just want to be accepting the terms. And yeah, just, it's just essentially just clicking the next button and the finish button. It's pretty simple stuff for installing drivers. But you do want to make sure you do all of them. Now, I will say, if any of these fail, don't worry, absolutely fine. It's just that, you know, stuff you've installed on your PC, don't really, really you know, kind of apply to that. Now, once you've done that, you want to be going to your, um, your actual manufacturer's place of who makes your graph card. So in my case, it's NVIDIA, and I'm selecting the 700 series and GTX 770, and also Windows 7 there. Yeah, so you want to be downloading the driver, click uh, download there, and then yeah, the green download, there we are. Now, if you guys don't actually have an NVIDIA graphic card, that's all right, you don't need to follow this. What you want to be doing instead is going onto AMD's website. Type in AMD GPU drivers into Google Earth. Now there we are, once you're there, you just want to scroll down a little bit and go to the manual, uh, yeah, the manually select your driver. So you want to click on the desktop kind of um, 
uh, graphic cards, choose your operating system, it's the same kind of principle again, um, yeah, once you've scrolled down the pages, yeah, you find the driver there, so you just want to install that. I will say, if you guys uh, typically don't want to be going onto their website, say every week or every month, checking if there's a new one, you can use the pieces of software that these companies have uh, made, which is yeah, makes it incredibly easy to make sure that your drivers are always up to date. Nvidia have something called the GeForce Experience, and I believe AMD have something called the AMD Raptor. This is software that, yes, both pieces of software do keep your drivers updated, and also yeah, download game profiles to allow your system to work at its best. So there we are guys, that is it, that's been the guide on how to build the PC as you can see, it's turned on, it's working, and um, yeah, it's all up and running, and hopefully if you guys have followed this tutorial you probably should know how to build your own PC, and if you have, yeah let me know, and um, yeah just, uh, you know, if, if you have had any problems, I, mean, you know, I want to kind of show your experiences, put them in the comments uh, to this video and I will get back to as many comments as I can, I do tend to get back to all my comments on YouTube, but uh, yeah, some of the silly ones I, I just straight out ignore what lie but um yeah if you guys have kind of put a system together something's gone wrong let me know i'll uh, kind of assist you and um, because you know i do want to help as many as you guys as possible anyhow if you have built a pc and it is working congratulations thanks for checking out the video and um yeah apart from that guys i'm gonna say thanks for watching and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye